Hey everyone, uh, what's up? This is Mr. T coming at you from Portable 3. I hope you had a good day so far. It's uh, Monday, October the 2nd. And I just finished a phys ed class, so I apologize if I've got a bit of a shiny head. Uh, we were playing volleyball today, but uh, my students are off and here I am posting a real quick video because I've had a ton of uh, questions from teachers all over the world, like four different countries, asking what how, how does your how's your kahoot challenge going to work so um i've got a lot of new teachers this year about 600 are signed up about two-thirds of them are new so that's pretty exciting there's about a third of the teachers have, have done it you know year after year after year with me i've got quite a few that have been with me all six years so thank you for that but uh, for those of you who are new let me just give you a quick rundown as to how the kahoot challenge is going to work okay before I do that though, uh, I want to direct you to my website. I've updated my website. I spent part of the summer and I've spent a big chunk of September going through it, like tons and tons of hours. And I've tried to build it so that it is, uh, there's stuff for you to take, stuff for you to download, stuff for you to find. And I just finished the Rover Story part. And on that web page, it's Mr. T from P3, Mr. T from Portable 3, so MRT, F-R-O-M, P3.com, Mr. T from P3.com. You can go there and you can find out, you can find a whole bunch of resources. What I did was I scoured the internet and I found teacher guides for uh, Rover Story. I found prompting questions that you can use for Rover Story. I found a postcard exchange that is still accepting responses, so you can go check that out if you want to try a postcard exchange. If you want to, there's a computer game, uh, it's a really cool interactive game that has some guiding questions, you can go and check that out. Uh, I've got a university professor that I found and she is posting a weekly Padlet with her faculty of ed students. So you can go and check that out. That again is for you to access for your students. Um, and then you'll find all my cahoots on that landing page as well. Okay, so if you find it helpful, please give this video a thumbs up because what's going to happen is more teachers are going to find it. YouTube will push this video out to more teachers searching for Rover Story resources or searching for Rover uh, Global Read Aloud stuff this video will get pushed out to them. So if you could give it a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate that. If you also want to follow my journey through the rest of this school year, you can subscribe down below and just hit that little bell because that bell will notify you when I put out a new video. Okay? So go and check out the website. There's tons of stuff there for you. Please give all the teachers a follow. Give them all a shout out because they worked really hard on the resources and I've got permission from them to share. And I'm really I'm really appreciative that they, uh, that they offered that. All right? So, if you're signed up for my Kahoot Challenge, or you're signed up for my Scratch Challenge, I've got some information for you, okay? For the Kahoot Challenge, here's what you're going to do. You're going to read through each week. So, go through week one. When you finish week one on the Friday, hopefully, the following Monday, you will be starting week two. What I'm going to do is send out a link on my Facebook page. Now this is really important. You have to join my Facebook group in order to access the link, okay? It's completely free to play, completely free to join, but I wanna streamline things. And so I'm gonna be sharing that link in my Facebook group, okay? So if you're not joined, join down below, okay? Then you're gonna take the link, click on it. It will take you to my website. And on my website, it's a hidden link, okay? It's not something that is public. The face group, albeit it's a private group, it's open to all teachers, but I don't want to make my cahoots live on the internet for anyone to find because I've had students search out the cahoots in advance and do the cahoots and, you know, fudge up the scores. I don't want to do that. So on Monday of the following week, you will get a link in my Facebook group that will take you to a website page, a landing page that is hidden, but live and active. Okay. You can't search for it except through my Facebook group. On that page, you're going to find a link to the Kahoot and you're going to find a link to a Google form. All right. Play the Kahoot, have lots of fun. 
But if you want to add an additional incentive to your students, take the podium scores at the end of that, at the end of your Kahoot, take the podium scores and put them into the Google form. Please do not email me, okay? Please do not email me your, your podium scores. Just put them in the Google form and send them in to me. And what I ask, in order for me to compile a fair leaderboard, there has to be a cutoff date, okay? So here's what I'm proposing. Uh, play the Kahoot during week one. Get to week two. You got Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday to try the week one Kahoot or to finish up the reading too. I don't want to assume that everyone's going to be done by the, by the each week. So you got a few days. And then on Wednesday by 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 5 p.m. if you want to send it in by then. But that's going into the dinner time hour for me. If you can send me or set, fill out the Google form and send in your podium scores, I will then compile a leaderboard. And here's an extra that I'm offering this year. Instead of your top three, I'm gonna offer for you to turn in your top five, okay? Just as a little bit of a bonus to get more students engaged, more students excited. Little more work for me, but that's fine. We're gonna we're, we're gonna deal with it. But I think top five would be pretty cool. If you want to just send in your top three podium, go ahead. But if you want to include your four and five, go ahead and do that. Okay, and that's the gist. Play the Kahoot. Wait for the leaderboard to be posted. It'll be posted probably Thursday or Friday of each week, and then start week two. And when you get to the end of week two, wait for the following Monday when week three kicks off. You'll get the link for the week two Kahoot. Play it, send in your podium scores, move on to week three. All right, that's a lot of fun. Uh, 730 or 780, forgive me. Over 700,000 students have played. It's a lot of fun. I'm hoping again for another 100,000 this year and we'll just, we'll see what happens. I have no idea what's gonna happen, but I'm pretty, pretty excited about it, okay? Here's something else that's new for this year. Each time the Kahoot is launched, Instead of when your students are signing in on that home landing screen, right, in the Kahoot program, I'm going to create a video just welcoming your students. It's going to be a YouTube video. It'll be attached to that landing page. So as they're logging into the Kahoot, putting in the pin code, they're going to be seeing a video of me just sort of saying, hey, what's up, and talking a little bit about the week. But I am going to give the answer to one of the questions. So make sure your students are listening. Make sure they're not fighting over each other's names or you know, freaking out or loud and chaotic. You wanna make sure that that video can be heard because they're gonna get the answer to one of the questions, okay? And I, I think that's gonna be pretty fun. So send in your top five scores this year. Uh, make sure your students are listening and they'll get that freebie question and answer, okay? And I just want them to have fun. I know that's why we're doing this, all right? Now, if you are signed up for the scratch activities, here's how those are gonna work. During weeks two, four, and six, all right? Two, four, and six, probably on the Friday, I will be hosting a live stream. It'll be through Google Meet. I will send the link through the Facebook group to the teachers. And if you want to, you know, come and have fun and with that, what your students need to do is they need to have a scratch, well, pause. They don't need a Scratch account in order to do the activity. But if they don't have an account, they can't save their work. So if you want to create a teacher account and then, you know, build a classroom, you can do it that way. Or you can just let them join. They click on create. They go in without an account. They can follow along to the activity. But if they don't have an account, they can't save their work. So it's totally up to you how you want to roll with that. Okay. So three times, over the six weeks, weeks two, four, and six, I will be teaching them how to do an activity. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really, I'm really excited about it, okay? So that's the scratch. Uh, I've done the cahoots. Um, I've shared my website, and I'm sure there's something else that I'm missing, but I just want your students to have fun. I wanna take the burden a little bit off of you. Um, do some video calls try out some video calls they're a whole lot of fun and there's tons and tons of teachers that are interested in doing them and just go in and try it out um i guess that's it so anyways i'm mr t from p3 portable three 
I'd love for you to follow along with my teaching journey this year. I'm going to have lots of financial literacy content for you. I'm going to have lots of coding stuff, uh, live bookets. On, oh, that's another thing I wanted to mention. That's what I was forgetting. Um, through the Facebook group, I'm going to be doing three bookets, three live bookets based on the book. Okay, not weekly cahoots, but bi-weekly bookets. And those are going to be coming out at random. Okay, I'm not going to give any hints as to when they are. Sometime during weeks two, four, and six, I'll give you, you know, 48 hours notice. I'm not just going to spring it on you that it'll be done in an hour. But if your students want to log into that book it, last year we had over 300 students on one of our book it's. It was really a lot of fun. So I invite you to come and check that out as well. Okay. Uh, one more thing. This is a, another bonus for you if you want. Um, I, actually, no, I'm not going to go there. I'm going to We'll just forget that I said that. Um, okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. I think I'm at 11 minutes. I think that's long enough. So a little bit of information on my website, a little bit of information on the Cahoots, a little bit of information on Scratch, a little bit of information on Blookets. Join the Facebook group and blessings on your school year. And I hope that you have so much fun over the next six weeks. I, you can tell my enthusiasm is like Christmas morning. This is going to be a lot of fun. Okay? Take care, everyone, and we will see you over the next six weeks. Take care.